Charlotte Beach is calling. Can you see it behind that light? No, you can't see it anymore because Loki Bay wants you to really go there for at least one moment of your time. And then it'll start playing the important notifications like, hey, you can look around the island just for a little bit. Welcome back, here's the time, you're just so crazy. This is Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we had a hell of a time finishing off Rico Harbor. And in this episode, we are going to continue with Gelato Beach till it's time We did all the secret missions, so all we need to do are the regular missions. Which are noteworthy in some respects. Nice blue coin. Show me right there. So tilt slam and then bam. You read this last time, but what the hell? Alert, alert! Just look at the top of the tower. See that tower right there? We were looking at it. Just for a little bit. Man, I should close that window. It's very windy now. <laughs> right. Oh well, now's not the time. I can't waste time now. That'd be stupid. Some weird thing is curled up on the tower to take a nap. It's gonna be very sandbird egg. Right. The sandbird egg. That is very important to grab a hold of. Wow, I'm bad at triple jumping. I'm, I cannot do it for the life of me, it seems. Wow. What's going on here? Alright, so what you need to do for this mission is go to these mirrors. Now, as you saw from the cutscene, there are three of these mirrors as well, and each of them have a different challenge on it, per se. One of them has one cataquack, one of them has two, one of them has three. Two is, of course, middle of the road. The only thing you have to do is you need to upset its balance by spraying it with water. Once you spray it to the edge, it'll be like that, and then you just gotta ground pound the mirror once it lets you, in order for it to fly off, because ground pounding otherwise would show its feet are firmly suctioned onto the, the thing, onto the mirror. And you just need to destroy its... Okay, I wasn't quite far enough. You need to be, like, right at the edge in order for something to happen. So as long as you push them over, it should be fine to go from here. There we go. Also use a red cataquack, so be careful, they can do damage to you. That's why there are coins around the edge, which I dumb well, idiotically picked up. I was gonna say dumbly. That was Again, double me. Well oh, there are birds flying around too. Green birds. They're up yeah, because here's the thing. Birds will fly around. Good job, Terry's left. And there are different colours of bird. There's green birds, which are the most common, which once you spray them like a couple of times, they drop a coin. And there's blue birds, which are important for later. You can probably tell what they are for, considering their blue color scheme. And then there's also gold birds, which appear in a couple of levels, and they aren't quite common. Only one area, no, I mean. But yeah, gold birds are shiny sprites. There's one in Delfino Plaza, and there's one in Noki Bay, so we'll be seeing them in due time. I'm gonna grab you because you give me a refill on water. And I don't think I mentioned it with Yoshi beforehand, but actually, yeah, no, because I didn't know about it before when we picked him up previously. Well, I didn't, I forgot to mention it in those previous times. Um, when you have Yoshi, when you jump on Yoshi, uh, someone plays one lands too, no. When you jump on Yoshi, you then get your water refilled, no matter what. And also your nozzle gets automatically changed to hover nozzle, no matter what. It's just the facts of life that that happens. Woof! There he goes. Now we just spray you away to the edge of that. And like that, our mission is complete! The cataplex have disappeared, and now it's time to be cruel to this one single wiggler caterpillar thing. Yeah, it just kind of breaks. It breaks really hard. It's a, a bit morbid, to say the least. Because everyone... I don't know, why is it everyone? Let's just, just bounce over to where we need to go. We need to over here. And once you've got water on the ground and you start sliding, you get a lot of speed. It's very pretty to look at, and once you get it down, it's so fun. But other than that, we shall continue on with Tyler Beach. Episode 3, Wiggle Ahoy, full steam ahead. So that thing we just killed, right? Um, now it's gone crazy. It's gone pretty mad. And it's gonna be running around the place. And the only way to deal with this is to spray dune buds. 
So once it gets near a doom bug, you want to well, spray the doom bug to get it. It, it. Depending on how nice the wiggler is, this could take a really short amount of time or a really long amount of time. So once you spray him up, there's going to be an arrow. You need to run to the arrow and hopefully get there in time to grab out it. Oh, barely. <laughs> but of course, get off the wiggler because it's just going to turn around right off the bat. You gonna come right here again? Be nice. Yes! Nah, not quite. I missed missed the shit. Oh well. I thought I was just gonna run into him for a second there, like god. Oh no. No, he was. A little too short for me to notice. Just gonna go over there too. Which there is a doom bot over there. Who knows how long this one's gonna take me. You might wanna stay in one place and wait for it to come towards you, because otherwise you're not gonna get enough time to actually hit it. I'm not sure if it actually does go through like a pattern, or if it does follow where you're going. I can't tell sometimes. That's the stars, Kevin. That's a spin jump. I don't often do spin jumps. I think I've already shown why I don't often do spin jumps, because it's unreliable. I just need to get better in more precarious situations. Yeah, like that. I don't even get any movement. I just need to not fight it. You know, just get better. Do good. Also, it's climbing up on the mountains now. I should be careful. Oh shit, oh god. This really is a train at this point. Hopefully you come over here, my child. Oh! Nope, not quite. Also, the Mokis get blown away at the same time. It's also kind of funny, I think. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to go over here. Let's see if I can actually move my ass over here and press the wrong button, apparently. I'm used to camera controls. So this is the camera control, it's the same as it behind you. Make a please. There we go. That's it. Not quite then. The round with Mr. Satin. It was it was just not worth it. Maybe it's Olimar instead. Come on you There we go. And he goes all the way into the ocean. Bitch. Attack him. Can I even do that? I don't think I can even make that. F fucking video game, come on! <laughs> Hashtag sunshine jank. God, that's fine. If you insist, I'll wait here for further moments of my time. What's the flies on the screen? Get out of here, fly. I'm gonna shoot at you. Come on, you. Leave me alone. Come on, fella. Fly away. <laughs> Pointful times. Oh, not again. Hmm. Everyone else was saying how this could take a long time or not. I'm pretty sure. It's a big ass fly. Get off of here, you piece of shit. Christ. You're ruining everything. But then again, <laughs> it's some physical comedy that can only be dumb with this recording method. And I'll stay this no matter how long it takes. Because, you know, I'm fine with this, man. Why go for something that's unreliable when you can have this reliable method right here? And you can make it look resentful in Premiere Pro. Therefore, in true fact, this is the way I... Damn, button. I want to set my camera, but I can. Did I mention sidestepping before? If you hold the left trigger down, you can sidestep. Come on, you. Ah, yep. Yeah. Ah. Give me Christmas. This may take a little while. Like I mentioned. Get over here. There we go! Oh shit. Now he's not drowning, so I can actually do this. Now it's my chance. This segment. There we go. And it becomes sand and wilts. Oh god, that eye hole. Jesus Christ. I did not realize that the eye hole existed. Well, I guess it makes sand into the sock and all that. But yeah, it's just over there. Easy as to grab. Once you escape the water. You can't die from- I don't know, maybe you can die from water, okay. Because when you jump out of the water, you get s some water properties still on you for a small amount of time, and it's cool, but... <laughs> Alright. Next mission it is. Never mind! We can now access the very last world of the game. Well, not the very last world, like the last main world. So let's just get that done now, I guess. Small break from Charlie Beach, but it's necessary. But the depths are low right now. 
the mysterious mustard man has been seen running around town holding some type of anti-gravity peripheral. Some type of machine. The mustache man is also the primary suspect. I think this is the same devs alert that we just had with the other thing. Also, yeah, you know, you can you can swim, but it takes damage from water. Makes a sense be made. I'm not, to be honest, I haven't seen what happens if you, like, finish off Shadow Mario in the water, if that could even happen. Like, especially with this. Like, does he drop the nozzle in the water, and then how do you speak to him? Does he, like, float on top of the water? Does he flounder? Do you have to speak to him like that? It's... What do you think about? I wonder if it'll even happen. Maybe we'll jump to the water again. Well, I have a feeling, yeah, he's just gonna go straight back to doing this platforming. Excuse me, sir. I would like you to step back. Oh, I thought I got it right then. Oh, well. I knew it. That fly was because I still have my window open. Bruh. Come on, Shadow Marin. Please. You can stop at any time. Oh, God. Why did I do that? <laughs> time to do it again. Here I go, wall jumping again. Woof. Here you are. Take some of that, please. Just take the rest of my water. I'm gonna be by water anyway. Oh, that's convenient. Shoot! No, I was just about to rocket jump too. So there's your rocket jump novel for the hub world. Easy as. You can go to various places. So does I. And there's also a thing you can ground pound on top of this lighthouse. But we're not here for the lighthouse. We're here to actually go back to Jalada Beach. Of course. Why not we be here for? The sandbird is born. Oh boy, Epic 4. One of the more infamous parts of this game. Because of controls, at least. The Sandbird. It's broken free from its slot. What do you have to say about it? Hey, guess what? The Sandbird had finally hatched! Don't bother looking for it, though. It flew off right away. Okay. It flew off. How did you know? It's... Okay, now maybe he was... He was here the whole time to watch the Sandbird fly away. That makes more sense. So here's what you can do. You can climb up the mountain and slide down the slide. Or you can be a pro gamer and hover yourself over to here. And then use the power of jumping to not quite make it. I thought I could do that, never mind. <laughs> so you have to do it this way, alright. You don't have to spray the sprout to get the staircase up. You can kind of wall jump through it if you so desire. But if not, then you can just do that. And we head into where the sandbird is located. Right down here. You take the jump and you bounce and you spin. Where are even heading? And then you jump into where the egg was. And here is the sandbird. The wonderful bird with its wonderful bottle noise. I mean, bottle music. And you have eight red coins. A legendary sandbird is climbing around the tower. Watch your feet. Definitely watch your feet. Oh yeah, there's also four blue coins on this thing. Four entire blue coins up this tower. So you gotta ride this thing a second time if you don't grab them now. But they're all close together, at least, the four blue coins. Also, you can zoom out pretty far in this bird, so it's helpful in that regard. You might think, oh man, the last coin's over here, what about the rest of the coins? Where are they? Oh shit, I should be careful. Well, hello, partner. Fancy seeing you here. Well. This is life now, I suppose. So yeah, I think we... Uh, uh, yeah, we were looking at these uh, clouds before in one of the secret missions. Where you can spray it with water and expand its size. But apparently, I need to redo the stage. <laughs> Thankfully, it pops you right back onto the sandbird. So, yeah. You also have the one sandbird, of course, so you gotta get on or you'll be left in the dust. I recommend grabbing the one on the tail immediately and then sticking to safe land right in the center. Yeah, and as I was saying, you'll notice, hey, there's only like seven 
red coins on the sandbird. Where's the last one? Well, it's on the tower that we're circling. You just gotta survive for long enough in order to reach that tower. Just jump around there-ish and then get to this part of the bird and... You might want to stand about here-ish. Because now the sandbird's gonna do something mean and tilt itself. Mmm shit. Mmm shit. Mmm. Shit. <laughs> Fine. There is one blue coin from the sandbird. I have it. I should keep that in mind for the rest of the playthrough. This is gonna suck for everyone. <laughs> this is gonna be one blue coin forever being seen. Oh, joy. Oh, God, I'm doing bad. I'm back with the detail. There we go. Well, once the sandbird does its single rotation, it's able to just fly normally for the rest of the time. I, I can't remember if this is true or not. I think this is just a hearsay rumor that I heard a long time ago. But apparently, cannot confirm this, if you wait on the sandbird for long enough, it'll do a full flip. I am probably wrong in thinking that, but... But yes, here is the last red coin. Don't dive towards it, or various sunshine versions will happen to you. Here's the, here's the sunshine, and now we can go to episode 5. Which should be great. Episode 5. Il Piantissimo's Sanskrit. This is the first of these type of missions that we're going to be finding. There's only like three in the game, I think. But yeah, Il Piantissimo. He is this little mustard man. And he is asking us. Well, he's got a proposition for us, at least. Let's see what he wants. Yeah! <laughs> I am Piel Piantissimo, and now we shall raise that flag! <laughs> he just laughs when he has nothing to say, clearly. Cause look at him, he's always laughing. It's a raise the flag! <laughs> Only one could try him. By the way, the current record is 35 seconds. You guys are ready, then get set and go! You gotta zoom very quickly to where the flag is. Basically a platforming challenge, but otherwise it's Easy to get done. Hell, you don't even need a wardrobe, you can just trouble jump up to the staircase. Very nice. And you can climb up this side of the mountain and get here in a cool 22 seconds. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Exactly one frame before I could be 23. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you uh, you're pretty good, you have some speed. People grow ever so slightly in my esteem. Slightly! Don't meet again, I think goodbye! Heh <laughs> What happened to the crowd? <laughs> oh, there's the crowd. I see the crowd decided to bounce away. At least the crowd's still there. I would have thought they would have immediately disappeared as well, but I guess not. Episode 6, let's go! Okay, this one and 8 are also gonna be pretty mean, but, you know, 7's fine. Red coins in the coral reef. So there's this reef. There are coins hidden in the reef. But also amongst the reef are fish that swim around. And some of those fish have coins in them. Well, amongst them, at least. Um, mister? You know what a coral reef is, right? There's something sparkling over there. I'm sure of it. Look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Go get them! Yeah, let's go get them! <laughs> Let's break every bone of my body by going over there and swimming. Yes, clearly. So I don't think I've needed to explain swimming before, but... You press the B button, or Y in this board's case, to head downward, and jumping to head upwards. You can kind of use the hover nozzle in some way, but at the same time, you can't. And around in this reef are going to be some red coins for us. See, look, there's one right there, which is why I both, just to make sure you know exactly where it is. I've already talked about it. Hold, hold up. Mario, you're in the reef! You're actually in the reef! Okay, no, there's actually a kid there, never mind. I was gonna say, he's clipping through rocks, how could he? See, there's a red coin. That's three. Of eight. There's more in this reef, and there's another fish right there. See, 
here's the thing with the fish. They have an incredibly advanced fish AI system. And I'll some away from you. So you need to make sure you're careful where you're going. There you go, there's four. I think there's maybe one more that's with the fish, but I don't know. I think the rest are in this reef. There's one right there. Five. Uh, there's six. And seven and eight should be over in this direction. That's a nice one. Yeah, there's seven. And I think I just saw eight out of the corner of my eye. I know that in editing, I'll, I would be like, no, you could never have seen it. I just would have made a guess. And I did make a guess. It was a correct guess. There's only two fish. Red coins, which is understandable. Oh god, I, I have a feeling I know exactly what's going to make this episode longer. And it's because I'm doing good enough to actually do that mission last. I'm not gonna short you on time. Shine. <laughs> That's for seven. Let's chase that Shadow Mario piece of shit ass shit. It's Shadow Mario! After him! Well, what's after him? Well, what's after him is a watermelon, but... We'll find out very soon what that means. Because hoop boy, watermelons! One of the more infamous parts of this game. But we haven't gone to the most infamous part yet, trust me. Where is he? <laughs> I just went right past him. Hey, Shadow Mario, you're doing my strats, don't do that. It's very mean of you. <laughs> Come on, you. I can use my spray strats. He's got a wardrobe up there. How oh, dare he? Come on, Shadow Mario. I'm just gonna focus and defeat you. That's the only way I have to do it. Because speaking is the way that's gonna get me to mess up pretty badly. You sit down. Don't accidentally jump back into the sandbird. I think you actually can do that. But I am probably wrong. Just get the Shadow Mario and that'll be good. Come on, you. Don't spin jump at me, you son of a bitch. He knows how to do these cool moves, and I don't. Because I'm not good at this game. I think it's not necessarily how much water gets sprayed on Shadow Mario, but how many times he gets hit by the water. Which seems like he's not sure. Dang it, this ain't over! It's never over. Not when you have multi track drifting like this. <laughs> uh, if I could do this in five minutes, it would be the dream, but I don't think it's gonna be that. Mm -mm, let's go. Episode 8 The Watermelon Festival. Here is the watermelon shine. It's right here. No, I can't do July the Beach Skip. I haven't even tried. What do you have to say? You're our helpful pinata for the moment. The Watermelon Festival is now open! Why must I stand here? I'd rather be drinking a smoothie. <laughs> if only he's able to drink a smoothie. Like, go and subscribe to smoothies. So here's these guys who've got their watermelons out on the beach. But apparently, Mario can't just have his watermelon out on the beach. He has to bring it over to this guy right here. Where he says, after a due time, I want to take the biggest watermelon and make smoothie. Really good one. And get them to the shine spray. The appreciation for all they do to us, you know? Mm. So around the island, you'll find some watermelons. You can bring them to the guy, and he'll be like, It's good, but it's not quite carling. And he'll spit out a bunch of coins for you. So this one is a watermelon that's not big enough. There's a watermelon that's over in this direction that's also not big enough. And the biggest watermelon of them all, of course, due to... C common knowledge and logic in regards to video game difficulty after you get out unstuck from the cataquack Jesus Christ is gonna be in the most annoying spot to retrieve I'm just gonna grab this so we have it for the world it's alright I don't think I need this or I can just do stuff like that yeah cool back to the cataquack why have another no the why have a rocket nozzle? 
when the cataquack can shoot you up to the sky no matter what. It's one of those crazy things. And then again, these are red cataquacks, so they do damage every time you do it. So it's better to not take damage every time you do it. You know, simple enough. So yeah. All the way up here, in this one place that we keep heading upwards, because all the action seems to be here, is the biggest watermelon. This shot is legendary. Let's do this. Oh, okay, also, you, you have to be careful with the watermelon. They can break pretty easily. What I was supposed to do is dive into it, which is not good. But also, you end up by this pole, and, like, like, be very careful of it. It'll pop backwards, and sometimes it'll just want to explode. Oh, and also, you can't kick this watermelon around for a long enough period of time. Because if it's way too long of a time, then it'll just be completely destroyed. That was almost good. I could have had this done like like that, but no cataquacks can also hit the watermelons upwards and ruin everything. It's it's sad, but mm -hmm. that's one attempt. Who knows how many this is gonna take. Let's head back to the watermelon at least. Here's a watermelon. Kick it! Kick it hard! Mm-hmm, that's watermelon physics right there. And yet, if you gently push it into the pole, it's gonna snap and break. It breaks its own two teeth every now and then. Well, the men don't have teeth. You just can't see them often. It's part of the rind, see. Oh, it's gonna poof down. And it's caught in the trees, but I, I know it's, it's still safe. So, the moment I can do that, it might be helpful to just you know, smack every kind of quack you see in the face. Also, watermelons here is the way to get 100 coins in Gelato Beach. Because of all the watermelon stuff. You can just pop the same watermelon over and over again and get an amount of coins from it. Plus all the coins in the area. So, it's probably the mission you're going to be seeing again when it comes to doing the 100 coins. Apologies, he didn't want to say anything. Whoa, no, that's a big old watermelon like I've never seen. You don't even need to get out the caliper for that one. You win. Burn it up. Shred it up. And I did it in five minutes. <laughs> how could I? Okay. So, remember how I was saying last time that Yoshi's Fruit Dimension was voting well for uh, watermelons? I guess not, apparently. Also, you can just, like take damage on the blender, but you jump on there and you just jump on the blender and you're all fine! And yeah, that's the 30 minute time, so... <laughs> that's it for this episode of Super Mario Sunshine, and in the next episode, we'll be heading right back to Peanut Park, back to familiar territory. So see you then with my one blue coin. I know it's gonna bug you, I know it's gonna bug me. At least I remember it from the sandwich. So see you then. Bye bye